For years, this has been one of the motives that has been photographed and posted on Facebook most at the boat, the diving tower. The professional photographer Imran Ahmad from Singapore is in the pool with his camera, a demonstration in technology for enthusiastic amateur underwater photographers. Using it on land and using it underwater is a totally different thing. So a lot of people think if I get my open water, I buy a camera, Bam, I'm an underwater photographer. No, because you got to understand that you must be one with the nature, you know. You, you got to watch your buoyancies. You got to understand that you're not harassing or, or doing something uh, stupid like most of the time a lot of people are doing. But taking good pictures isn't enough anymore. Especially online, amateur divers often become very successful in a community with a single lucky shot. The competition is growing. Self-marketing is all the more important, also for professionals like Imran. An example, Deep Blue, Facebook for divers, so to speak, which photo editors also look at. Well, for me, uh, it was very important that I, I actually connect with uh, the people out there. And back when I started, we didn't have social media. We had a, we had a mail, a snail mail, where you send them. Or you go to directly to an editor's office, knock their door and put in your portfolio and hopefully they read about it or call you. So, but today with the advancement of media, that's the beautiful part of uh, everything else. Getting connected and moving your work is so much easier. Tobias Friedrich is someone who has made it, as they say. He is very successful with the pictures he has taken, far beyond the diving community. If you want to take pictures underwater and need some tips, he's your man. Very important for beginners, get as close as possible to your motive. The more water there is between the camera and the subject, the blurrier the picture will be. You really have to get very close and use a flash or a different artificial source of light to be able to duplicate the colors of the corals and the fish. There is a housing for practically every camera at the boat, even for modern action cams that don't cost very much and will also work underwater. But divers still can't buy themselves creativity here. If you ask the right kind of people, though, you'll get a lot of help. Someone who really wants to get started shouldn't think on it too much and just take some money and buy a proper SLR camera with an aluminium housing. It is something you can use for a very long time. The most popular camera is still the one in the smartphone. You can also get housings for them. With the right app, the phone turns into a dive computer and camera in one.